Baby bus! Let's go Sheriff Labrador! <laughs> the case of the rainbow juice theft. Sunflower Kindergarten was preparing to have a safety education lecture, which all the kids were looking forward to. Where is Sheriff Labrador? When is he coming? I can't wait! <laughs> Whoa! He's here! He's here! Sheriff Labrador walked into the classroom. Whoop. Morning, kids. I'm going to teach you a few common safety tips that you can use in everyday life. Yay! <laughs> All right. Here comes my first question. How do you remove the cap from a bottle? <sighs> la, 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 la. Oh, no. It, it's awful, Sheriff Labrador. Just then, Miss Lop Rabbit burst through the door with a worried look on her face. Her ears were trembling. I, I was going to the kitchen to get some snacks for the kids, but when I got there, I found the fridge had been ransacked. The kids' snacks and my limited edition of rainbow juice were all gone. Oh, gosh. It took me a really long time to buy the limited edition. <laughs> oh, take it easy, Miss Lop Rabbit. Let's go to the kitchen. When they got to the kitchen, they found the refrigerator door wide open and the kitchen in a mess with food strewn about everywhere. Chef Gray Rabbit sighed Why? deeply as he looked How at the lettuce leaves happen? scattered on the floor. <laughs> Sheriff Labrador took out his magnifying glass and examined the inside and outside of the refrigerator. Although he didn't see any animal paw prints around, he did find a few strands of gray fur where the rainbow juice was kept. May I ask who here in the kindergarten has gray fur, Miss Lop Rabbit? Hmm, la la la. Hmm. Only Chief Gray Rabbit and Gray Donkey have gray fur, but Gray Donkey was in the classroom this whole time. There's no way he was here. Chef Gray Rabbit's ears pricked up with panic, and he cried out in frustration, feeling that he was being unjustly accused. Huh? It wasn't me! I was busy with work outside the kitchen and never even opened the fridge. Sheriff Labrador rubbed his chin. Chef Gray Rabbit claimed he wasn't in here, and Gray Donkey was in the classroom the whole time. So, could this be a frame-up? Suddenly, Ms. Lob Rabbit's ears shook. Aha! Uh -huh. I remember. Galva came here today to deliver fruit and was wearing a gray wig. He said he had recently lost a lot of hair, so he bought a fancy wig. Wig, wig, wig. Hmm. Sounds like we need to have a talk with Gelbvi. Sheriff Labrador wig. kept repeating wig. the word wig, wig over and over in his head. Oh, I get it. Sheriff Labrador's dark round eyes instantly glistened. He picked up the strands of gray fur from the fridge and suspecting that they weren't real animal fur, he set them on fire. And just as he suspected, they emitted a pungent burnt plastic smell. La la, ugh, that smells terrible. That's it. When real hair burns, it smells like burnt feathers. But fake hair made of chemicals smells like burnt plastic. So all these strands of fur all come from a wig. Looks like the wig wearing Gelbvi is the most likely suspect. <gasps> Sheriff Labrador, he just left after making the delivery. I don't think he's gotten very far. La la la, let's go find him. There was a violent coughing sound outside the kitchen window. Sheriff Labrador and the others looked out and saw that it was Jelvia hiding under the windowsill, clutching his throat in pain. Help! Help! It's Jelvia. What's wrong with him? La, 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 la. Sheriff Labrador noticed the bottle of rainbow juice lying askew at Jelvia's feet. The juice was spilled out all over the ground, but the cap was nowhere to be seen. Uh-oh, he's probably got the juice cap stuck in his throat. Let's get him to the hospital. Sheriff Labrador quickly took Gelbvi to the hospital, where a doctor removed the bottle cap from Gelbvi's throat. <sighs> Why did you swallow the cap, Gelbvi? <laughs> I, I overheard you and Ms. Lop Rabbit talking while I was hiding under the kitchen window. When I heard that you suspected me, I was in a hurry to destroy the evidence and ready to gulp down the juice. But the, the top of the juice bottle was too tight to unscrew with my hands. 
So I tried to open it with my teeth, but I accidentally swallowed the bottle cap. <laughs> oh, Gelby, using your teeth as a bottle opener is very dangerous and can easily cause damage to your teeth. Also, if you accidentally swallow the cap, it can get stuck in your throat and cause choking. Mm, I, I was wrong, Sheriff Labrador. Mini episode on safety. Woof. Woof. Are you in line to buy some juice, Doodle Bear? Oh, yep, Sheriff Labrador. The shop has a limited edition juice on sale today. <laughs> it's my turn, finally. Oh. The bottle cap is so hard to unscrew. I guess I'll just have to open it with my teeth. Oh, wait, Doodle Bear. Never open a bottle with your teeth. Huh? Time to learn safety with Sheriff Labrador. Hey, kids. Using your teeth to open a bottle is very dangerous and can easily damage your teeth. And if you accidentally swallow the cap, it can get stuck in your throat and make it hard to breathe. Listen up, boys and girls. If you can't open the bottle, ask an adult to help you. Do not use your teeth as a bottle opener. <laughs> <laughs>